We have how many weeks till Thanksgiving and then how many weeks until Christmas. The holidays are here. We're in it. I'm hoping that I can motivate you when it comes to getting ready for the holidays. Welcome to She's in Our Apron. We always start a load of laundry before bed. And I didn't start the dryer. Oh, that's because I was talking to my sister on the phone. And I had the phone propped up on the dryer and I didn't want it to be loud for her. I really wanted to get these dried, like folded. <laughs> Not today. Not today. If you're new here, I created a planner last year to help me with my ADHD. I created a system for my brain that I know could help yours, even if you don't have ADHD. A place for your routines, your comings and goings, your menu planning, tracking your to-dos, your daily expenses, cleaning routines, keeping track of a budget monthly, and having extra systems and calendars to track all the many hats that we wear. The planner even comes with holiday planning sections. I absolutely love hearing back from you all on how you're enjoying the planner and how it's helping you. We have the weekly planner, a daily planner, and a weekly date book. And I'm working on a new one to bring to you in the new year. If you need motivation in your planning, visit she'sinherapron.com. You can even leave in the comments below or on the website what you like in a planner and what you would like to see in the planner. I love learning from you and seeing what works for you. The other thing I need to work on today, putting Halloween away. I have been gathering some and putting it here. It was on the table. I had a nice Halloween display. I had to film a Thanksgiving video for you guys. Ooh, I am in what I call the Monica closet, the closet underneath the stairs, to pull out these fall and Halloween bins to pack up Halloween. You know when I talked to you about having long-term food storage? Well, we keep some of it in here. So these are all boxes of number 10 cans of like sugar, flour. I have honey powder, chopped onion, potato slices, potato pearls, rolled oats, a cheese blend, bell peppers, butter powder, and beef bouillon, chicken bouillon, chocolate milk powder, dry milk. This is freeze-dried beef and freeze-dried chicken. Last year I combined fall and Halloween. We were gonna decorate for fall, just straight up fall, Thanksgiving. I think we might skip that this year. I just don't have it in me to put up Thanksgiving. And I always give the turkey its day. Not this year. We're skipping straight to Christmas. We're gonna be heading to in December before Christmas, so I need to get everything done and put away um, for our son's graduation in the Army. When we get home, it is Full on Christmas, gotta have everything up ready to go so we can enjoy our time, be with Jonah, because we get him for two weeks before he ships out. Okay, all the decorations that I did use this year are packed away. I ended up using one, two, three, four, five totes of decorations and I have more up in the garage, but I have given a lot away over the last two Halloweens and a lot to my daughter. So now I'm gonna go in and grab all of my like Halloween aprons off this is supposed to be like a coat stand. So I'm gonna grab all the Halloween ones and put them in the pantry behind the door. I have over 50 aprons, a lot. And I have tossed some that just had to, had to go to rest. Like they were worn out. I have the first apron I ever bought myself at Target that started the whole She's in Her Apron journey right here. I'm never getting rid of that. So I just went through and organized these when I organized the pantry and I, I'll leave that video for you below. These ones are gonna go back here. I get asked all the time, where do you find your aprons? I find them at Hobby Lobby, Walmart, boutiques, but I do, t you know, get rid of some, donate some after a while. Like this one will probably be donated here soon. I got a very strong holder here, hook system here. If any of you have watched me for years know that like years and years ago, the weight of my aprons took down my pantry door. <laughs> yeah, it's a thing. My husband left with our second oldest son to go to the ortho to fix his retainer. I'm gonna start on dinner. Boston has been wanting sloppy joes. This is our food storage room if you're new here. I actually teach you how you can create a mini grocery store in your home. I'll leave that video for you down below. Right now I gotta grab two pounds of ground beef. So all our ground beef is down here but I'm gonna pull it from this bin. Ooh, 
my fingers are cold. Okay, I'm gonna get dinner going so when Boston gets back from the ortho, he can eat sloppy joes for dinner. So I have to run in to Smith's today to pick up a prescription and I'm gonna get a pulse on what their hams look like and their turkeys look like. Oh my gosh, you guys. They have got Christmas clothes. Do you guys do Christmas jammies? We do, every year. I'm gonna take a look here and if I could snag our Christmas jammies now, I'd be so happy. Get that done? Yeah. Well, bummer, I couldn't find any jammies for the guys, but I did find mine, so that's good. And then I remembered I did pick up a pair for Shaylee at Walmart. I got the ad that starts tomorrow. I went to customer service and asked for it. So I'm gonna take a look at that, and I'm heading over and seeing about the ham and the turkeys, because right now, Spiral ham is expensive. I don't know if we're gonna have a ham with our turkey this year. So I took pictures on my phone and then this is how I keep track of the prices and I go home and I add them in my price sheet. And this is how I keep track of things, you guys. When you're just out and about, grab your phone, snap a picture, see what their everyday price is. And so when they have a sale, you know, oh, all right, that's, that's good compared to these other stores in the area. And that's what I do, you guys. This is how a, like, I, I know when to jump on a deal and when not to, even with inflation. Guess what? I found men jammies. I just got done shopping for her Christmas jammies. One thing checked off my holiday to-do list. All right, in Costco. And I just put something in my cart and I went to go grab my phone to scan it, like Sam's Club. Come on, Costco, do the scanning thing. It just makes life so much easier for all of us. So my phone died on me. Oh, I couldn't believe it. I didn't know what time it was. I've been in here a long time. I needed to go pick up my daughter. Well, <laughs> so I asked this sweet woman if she could tell me the time. I was not expecting the time she told me. What? Like, can I use your phone to call my husband? But Derek is so smart. He knew I might be running late. He looked at the clock and noticed that my phone was dead. So he left to go pick up our daughter. And he's like, I gotcha. Called him thinking he's not gonna answer his phone. But I think he knew because my phone died, I would totally ask a stranger if he knows that of me. Now I can finish shopping, there's no rush to leave. I am done. It is quarter to three. I have been here for hours. It literally can be three hours when I'm in a bulk store, taking pictures, shopping, and really studying the prices. I swear I've been in there for three hours. Ugh. If you'd like to see what is happening at Costco right now for the holidays and this haul, I will leave the link to the video down below. We're about three weeks away from Thanksgiving. In the She's In Her Apron weekly planner, we have holiday pages. These are our Thanksgiving pages. There is a planning countdown that you could check off for each week leading up to Thanksgiving. So right now, three to four weeks, you're going to create your guest list if you're hosting, create invitations. You could delegate food assignments to your guests, see what they would like to bring. And then from there, you can create your menu. And you can make a grocery list, shop your shelves first, see what you already have, have and then add into your grocery list what you need. Go through your kitchen inventory and see if you have the things for Thanksgiving dinner. One year I didn't have a turkey baster. Do you have a roaster? Do you need an aluminum pan if you don't have a roaster to fit your turkey? Do you have enough serving bowls, serving spoons? I didn't have enough one year I had to go get some. Maybe plan out your tablescape. This is the tablescape that I used last year. The napkins were from Hobby Lobby. And I wanna say that the garland that's running across the table was from Joann's. In the next Thanksgiving planning video, I'm gonna share with you how we could cut our budget down, see where we could cut corners, use substitutions. I'll be sharing some hauls with you and how we could take all our yummy Thanksgiving leftovers and turn them into new recipes. If you're needing some more Thanksgiving or holiday motivation, with a lot of tips and tricks that are gonna help you right now, click on this video where we're gonna hit each week to get us ready for the big holiday. I'll see you over there. Thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you soon, bye.